Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Pilot and I'm back again today with a very new exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at a new tool released by Apple called as SF Symbol. SF Symbols helps us to design interfaces faster and help us improve our workflow. So I'll talk all about it in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here I am on developer.apple.com. I've opened up the SF Symbols documentation. Now this specifically is only for Mac users. Now, if you are a Windows user, I still suggest you watch it because it's something that's really helpful if you know and have knowledge about. All right, so SF Symbols is just basically an app which has a bunch of icons, all right? Now these have been created by Apple itself and these are things that you can use in when you're designing interfaces. Now all these are made specifically for iOS 13. Obviously you can use it for the previous ones as well, but all of these have been redesigned each and every icon that Apple provides uh, for designers like us to use has been redesigned and I'll give you an example a bit about it. So a couple of things that you should check out, you know, after this tutorial is over to get a better understanding is the documentation about SF symbols over here. All right, it's, it's very small and pretty much uh, very, you know, to the point. Um, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, all right, my internet is slow. Yeah, anyway, um, then you've got this video by Apple itself. Uh, I'll leave a link down below in the description for all this. It's called Introducing SF Symbols. It talks about the design and the de development impl implementation about it. So if you are a developer, you definitely should watch this as well. Um, then you've got the Apple design resources. So you, this is where you can download the SF Symbols software. It's uh, available for Mac OS 10 uh, and above. And this is a website which gives a list of all the icons that it provides, but there are a couple of icons which you are not allowed to use um, other than the mentioned purpose. So for example, it says usage restrict to FaceTime app. So this is just a simple, you know, thing that you should just keep in mind, shouldn't be much of an issue. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and let's jump into Figma. All right, so here I'm in Figma and I've just taken up three different screens and I'm gonna explain how this works one by one. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the new icons that have been redesigned. Now, these are the iOS 12 icons. You can see that this is a simple icon and this is a simple icon. So if I go over here and what I can do is um, I can search for the icon. Now, the way you wanna search is based on the object rather than the action, all right? So in this case, this is a heart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and search for heart, right? And I've got a bunch of these hearts over here. And what I can do is I can just, you know, select any one of it. I'm gonna copy that by pressing Command C, all right? And I'm gonna just come over here and then paste it, all right? It's as simple as that. So what's actually happening is if you see over here, it's actually displaying it as a font or like a, it's actually displaying it as a text layer. Even if you see over here, uh, the symbol represents that this is a text, it, it's displaying it as a text. So. You, you can do everything, whatever you want with the text. So for example, I wanna change the font size, I can go ahead and change that. So let's say I'm gonna set that to 25, all right? You can see that I can change the font size. It's just like changing a text. So it's like a text layer, all right? And I'm gonna come over here and put it over here so you guys can see, you guys can see it. So as you can see, this is more of a rounded feel. So all the icons have got a more rounded feel rather than, you know, like a sharp feel, all right? Um, if And now if I want, I can duplicate this and I wanna choose the bookmark icon, so I can just search for book, um, and I can copy that, and I can double click as a text layer and paste and replace it, all right? It's as simple as that. This is something cool and so awesome, and it's gonna save a lot of time. So as you can see, this is sharp and this is round, so these all the icons have rounded corners, and they have a more a playful feel as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and take another e example uh, to see what else we can do with SF symbols. All right, so over here, um, uh, or probably we can go to, yeah, I think this should be fine, all right? We have this button that says see all, and then we have this icon, all right? Now, usually icons are okay, but they do cause a lot of problems sometimes. When I would say problems, I mean that they take up an extra couple of seconds to just make sure that the things are right. But what if there was an easier solution to this? So what I can do is let me go ahead and actually duplicate these two, all right? And now I'm gonna leave see all as it is, all right? And with this icon, I'm actually gonna delete it. All right, I'm gonna take the seal, I'm gonna duplicate that, and I'm gonna search for the chevron, all right? All right, and I'm gonna go and choose the right chevron, copy that, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. All right, and move this over here. So basically the job is done, all right? So I have these two layers, all right? And 
and I'm just going to keep it like so. And now what I can do is I can select these two. I can go ahead and delete this. I can select these two layers that I just created, control G to group them, and then I'm going to bring them down like so. All right. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. Now, the other thing about this is let's say that this see all is probably, let's say is in bold. All right. Let's say that this was bold. Now this looks kind of weird as well, right? Now this is bold, but this isn't. Well, there is a super quick fix. Since this is a font layer, you can go ahead and change this to bold and that's going to change that to bold as well. All right. So that's just pretty neat. So if you come over here, you can actually see that each font, each font type, which is each typeface has like different weights and each of them has different looks. So for example, um, if I go and set this to light, to thin, it's going to show all of them in the thin weight. If I go and set this to black, it's going to set all this to black. So there's really uh, all sorts of possibilities and customization that are there. Now, why would anybody want a bold? So for example, if anybody sets the accessibility setting, turns on the accessibility setting in their iPhones, then everything would become bigger and bolder. So if you had, if you had used SF symbols in your code, then automatically it, it would change accordingly because this text will also change, which means this, all, this also has to change. So that's pretty cool. All right, now let's take another example. So here I have a simple uh, contextual menu and I have change photo, change email and mute. So maybe in my design, I wanna use a new icon, all right? Now this is the icon. Now the default icon that it gives you is if I search for bell, all right? And I'm gonna, let's set this to medium for now. You see that we have this kind of a slash, but I'm gonna wanna change this. So SF Symbols does not provide you all the icons that are there. I mean, they give you some icons, quite a lot of icons, around thousand icons, but maybe you want a custom icon for your app that you've specifically building. So what you would wanna do is you would want to go and search for a icon that is quite similar to what it is, and then go ahead and customize it. Let me explain what that means. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and search for this bell icon, and I can go to edit, and sorry, I can go to file and choose export custom symbol template, all right? And what that's going to do is that's gonna go ahead and export an SVG file for me, all right? And I wanna show you how that SVG file looks. So basically, if you have an SVG, you can import it in any design tool like Adobe XD, Figma, or Sketch, or even Adobe Illustrator, all right? And once you export it, um, you can come over here um, and import it right over here. So this is the template file that it kind of gives you with the weights, which is ultra light, thin, light, regular, and up till black. And it also gives you three variations, which is small, medium, and large. I'll explain what small, medium, and large means next, but for now, let's just understand how this works. Now, the problem is that, let's say I have this icon, right? This is the icon that I wanna, you know, have. Now, unfortunately, I cannot make this icon integrate with the SF Symbols app, all right? Now, this template, will be given to the developer, which he will put into Xcode, which is the development tool for building apps. And he will pick the icon from there. But this icon cannot be imported over here. You would want to create this kind of a layout. You, want to, you, you would want to customize this SVG if you have a custom icon, which is point number one. And point number two is when you want to hand off the icons to him, you would have to e export this whole thing as an SVG. So if I go to export and I want to choose this as an SVG, you want to give this SVG file with the customized icons to your developer and he is going to go ahead and put, those, put that into the code. So if I come over here, um, you can see that each of these, so basically you would have to design icons for each weight, all right? Now, if you don't want to design for all of them, the minimum amount of icons you have to do are these six blue icons, which is regular, and semi bold, all right? One, two, three, and one, two, three. I'll explain what small, medium, and large is in a moment, but you would have to create these six icons, but I suggest you create for medium, bold, and um, thin as well, all right? I think medium and bold should be, should be good enough, all right? All right, so now let's talk about what these mean, small, medium, and large, all right? So this is a small slide that I picked up from the talk that was given by Apple. And uh, I'm gonna explain what it means over here. So as you can see, these three icons, which is the envelope, the search icon, and the share icon, all of them have the same font size, which is 17 points or 17 pixels. You know, when you're designing, uh, you would sometimes use pixels. 
But in reality, this is actually a small version. This is actually the medium version and this is actually large, which means even though this is 17 points, I can have a medium version which is smaller than this and a smaller version which is even more smaller than that. But the point size is going to be the same. So this is something that you have to take care of when it comes to development. This is nothing to do with the design. What's going to happen is when your developer is actually going ahead and, you know, coding the icons in the code, the system is going to identify whether this should be a small, medium or a large based on the height of the container. All right. So in this case, the height of the container is 24. So it's going to be small when it when the height of the container is 36, the font size will not change, but the icon will become bigger, which will be medium. And when it becomes quite huge, which is like 44 pixels over here, it will become even more bigger, but it will still remain at 17 pixels. The font size is not going to change, only the size of the icon with changes to stroke, if any, will be done by the system automatically. And that is why you need to define, when you have created a new icon, you need to define how this icon is going to look, you know, with the large preset or with the small preset. All right. So that's pretty much it about SF symbols. It's very simple and straightforward. You can definitely go ahead and start using these no matter what. And the other way and the other thing that you can definitely use, for example, you, you have this icon, but you want a different icon. You can go ahead and delete that and you can go to SF symbols and just search for person. All right. And it's going to give you, um, I guess this, you can just drag that. And so you can copy that and you can paste that over here and then you can bring it over here so you don't have to worry too much about the sizes over here all right um you could go ahead and change the color of course everything can be done so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did let me know in the comment section down below make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing awesome content and i'll see you guys in my next video so till then take care and bye bye